girl. Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and this is Kim, this is my dog. And in this video, in this video series, we're gonna be talking about some of the essential cues to teach your dog. In this video specifically, we're gonna be talking about leave it. It's so important because it can literally save your dog's life, especially if they get a hold of something that's poisonous or maybe that they could choke on or they could get caught and stuck in their intestines. This is literally a life saver. So one of the very first things that you should teach any new dog in your home, puppy or adult, should be a leave it cue. And right now what I'm doing is how we start the cue. So really quick before we get into how to work on the leave it cue, if you are new here, my name is Jessica. I am the furry family coach and this is my channel. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer, trainer. If you are new here, thank you so much for being here. This channel is all about dog training, positive dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, canine nutrition, and throwing some cat stuff too because I am a pet parent coach. So if any of that is up your alley, please click that subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications, and that way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Again, thank you so much for being here and we're doing a leave it cue. So the very first part of a leave it cue, we're gonna start with treats because most dogs are very food motivated. And if your dog is not food motivated, first of all, Maybe you're not using a high enough value reward, so let's try that first. But you can also use toys and other things to reward your dog. So the very first thing you wanna do is give your dog a couple of treats to get them interested in you and interacting with you and seeing what's going on. The next thing we're going to do is we're, once we have given our dog a couple of treats, I'm gonna take a treat and I'm gonna put it in, for me, I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna put it in my right hand. I'm gonna show it to her. Uh -huh girl so when she started to walk towards my hand I closed it up and I said uh -uh, which was just a cue to stop when she halted I rewarded so the next time we do this I'm actually going to add in the word yes when she does what I want her to do so again I'm gonna open my hand uh -uh. yes good girl now I don't like to reward with the treat that's in my hand that I'm telling her she can't have because I feel like that's very confusing. Some trainers will tell you to go ahead and give them the treat that you have just told them not to take from you. And again, I feel like that is very confusing. So keep treats in your other hand. In fact, I need to replenish mine. And uh, also, I do have another video on my channel if you are interested in how to train with treats and not overfeed your dog. I will link that below. I will also link this new playlist uh, below as well because I'm going to be adding to this pretty consistently over the next few weeks at least. And um, it is all about some of the basic cues that you sh every dog needs to know, right? Uh, cues or commands, depending on what you like to call them. I prefer calling them cues that every dog needs to know. So once your dog kind of gets used to this routine and the fact that when you close your hand or when you say, uh-uh, you mean that they can't have this, the next step is to add in the word or the um, phrase, leave it. So I'm going to again, uh, leave it. Yes, good girl. And we're gonna continue to do the same thing. She started walking towards a tree. I closed my hand and I said, leave it. And when she backed off, which I, it may be difficult for you to see, but I'll kind of, I'll try to um, zoom in so you can see. She actually kind of sets back and sits down a little bit when I say leave it or when I said before when I was saying Anna. She kind of sat back and um, moved back and sat down. So that's, that's the behavior we want to see. That's what we want to reward, right? When we say leave it, then we, um, and, and they actually do, we want to reward that. We want to be very consistent about rewarding that. So I'm going to try this with an open hand. Uh -uh. Yes, good girl. Good girl, that is my good girl. Okay, now I'm going to try to leave it. Leave it. Yes, good girl. So she's starting to understand that, um, Whatever I have in my hand, like she's interested in it. She's showing interest, but she understands that I don't want her to have that particular open, open, good girl, good girl. So what I want you to do is keep practicing this over and over. I don't want you to practice it more than like five minutes at a time. I, and 
you can practice it a couple of times a day, but really for this one uh, particular cue, I don't want you to practice it like for extended, like don't spend 30 minutes trying to practice this one thing. And again, I always say if you get frustrated, your dog has already been frustrated, so just and on a high note, ask your dog for something you know they can do, like a sit, reward that, stop what you're doing, come back to it at a later time, maybe the next day, because if you're frustrated, your dog has already been frustrated, nobody is learning in that instance. So be very consistent about this, practice five minutes at a time, maybe a couple of times a day. I want you to practice with different food rewards, different treat rewards. Um, if your dog is not food motivated, you can start with toys, that's perfectly fine. Even if your dog is food motivated and you start with um, treats or food, then move on to toys. Try different objects, try different things. Reward with food if your dog is very food motivated. If they're not, if they're very play motivated, reward with play, that's perfectly fine too. Just anything you can do to really start uh, ingraining in your dog that leave it means that they, they back up and they don't continue investigating further, right? That's all we want to do. And dogs are very situational, so we want to do this in the living room, we want to do this in the kitchen, in the bedroom, maybe in the guest room, in the backyard, at the park, and of course we want to escalate to backyard and park because those places provide additional distractions. So we want to really cement this as, as much as we can inside the home before we move on and add distractions outside of the home. If you have a multi-dog household, I also have a video about training with multiple dogs in your home and I will link that in the description below. But um, again, adding another dog is a distraction. So it's something you have to build up to and you have to work up to. Your dog isn't necessarily going to be able to um, take on a lot of distraction and learn all, all at once, all up front. So slowly start adding these things in. And again, work in different areas of your home, different rooms of your home, have different people in your home. Um, if you're not the only one in your home, to work on this with your dog, this is a very important skill and something that is actually pretty easy to do as long as you are consistent about doing it. All right, so we've got one more difficulty level to add into this. Kim just went and got some water, so I, I gave her a little bit of a break, which granted it was only a couple of minutes, but I gave her a little bit of a break, but I do want to show you how we increase the difficulty here. So once your dog is, has gotten really good about whatever is in your hand, the next thing I want you to do is actually drop a piece on the ground, leave it, and the first couple of times you do this, you'll actually have to, good job, yes! You'll actually have to take your hand and cover it because this is something new for your dog, right? So I took my hand and covered it, and when she backed away, I said yes, and I rewarded that. So again, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna drop it on the ground, I'm gonna say leave it. Yes, good job, good job, that's my girl, yay! And in between, I'm gonna pick it up because I don't want her to, I like anything that I would in, in real life, if outside of training, if I don't want her to have something, if she, if I tell her to leave it and I don't then go and pick it up or get it away from her, it's still there. It's still um, something that she's gonna be interested in. It's still a temptation. So we definitely would in real life normally get whatever it is away from our dog. So I want to practice this here as well. So again, I'm gonna drop it, leave it, Good girl, yes, that's my good girl. So the goal here is to get to the point where I don't have to cover it with my hand, where I can just drop it and say leave it and she backs away from it. So we're gonna try this again. Leave it. Good girl, that's my good girl. So that time I didn't even have to put my hand over it. She looked at it and looked back at me because she knows that I'm the one that has the rewards for her for not paying attention to what's on the ground over here. So I'm, again, I'm gonna drop it, leave it. Yes, that's my good girl! So I really have only spent about maybe five minutes total working with Kim right now. And that's about all I wanna do at one point in a day. We've gotten through all of these steps, which has been amazing. I was able to drop something and not have to put my hand on it and she left it alone, which is wonderful. So give this a try. 
and really be consistent with it. Try with different food rewards, with different treat rewards, try with toy rewards, play rewards, and really get into this with your dog because once you see your dog really making progress, I mean, it is just an amazing feeling. You get so happy and excited and you make a girl. Your dog also feels a lot of accomplishment. Your dog would actually prefer to work for their traits, to work for their rewards. It is something that is just ingrained in them, that they know that if they work for it, it is so much sweeter. And so work on this with your dog. Let me know how it's going. Post some pictures, post some videos. If you haven't already joined my group, the link is in the description below. Post some videos, post some pictures. I wanna see you working with your dogs on the Leave It Cue as well as anything else that you're working with your dog on. Even if you are struggling with something, that's what I'm here for. Join my group, post about it. Let me know what's going on so I can help you. Also, take those videos, take those pictures, Post them on Instagram. My handle is right down here somewhere and tag me in it. I would love to see how you're working with your dogs. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who needs help or maybe just got a new dog and really needs to start putting some of these cues in place with their dogs, share this video with them. I would really appreciate it. Also, there is gonna be another video popping up here somewhere that is really gonna help you build that bond with your dog. So I highly suggest that you click on that video and watch it next. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications, become part of the furry family, and get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.